Welcome to FIDE Grand Prix in Berlin. I am Roma Grandmaster Dina Belenke and here I am joined by Grandmaster Vincent Keimer from Germany, the only Grandmaster from Germany. Vincent, hello, thank you for coming. How do you feel about this Grand Prix? Yeah, I'm very excited to be part of this Grand Prix this time and of course excited to participate. I mean, I never expected to play in this, so it's already like great achievement for me, especially nice to play in Berlin, home country and also yeah, we'll just try to learn as much as I can. Do you expect some parti particular support from uh, your countrymen, some extra cheering? Yeah, maybe, but I also don't think that this is the most important during the tournament. I mean, during the tournament, you're already, already focused on the games, on preparing, having a pretty clear way of yeah, dealing with the day, when to do what, and this is, I think, the most important. Yeah, just focusing on the tournament, playing as good as you can. Was there any particular preparation for this kind of event, or it was pretty similar to all the others. Yeah, I don't think it differs much from the preparation for any other event as well. I mean, you try to look at the participants who I will face. I mean, of course, extremely strong. Yeah, everyone above 2,000 and this is also something, yeah, I mean, I never even played against that many players above 2,100 also. They are all extremely young, strong, and also I know that they are willing to really win this. I mean, this is a great chance for everyone. So yeah, we'll just, the usual, yeah, the way you prepare against strong op opponents, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a question that you might not be willing to answer, but I'll still ask it just in case. Who is your toughest opponent here? Yeah, I really don't know. I think this is really something that depends on mostly how the opening goes. I mean, I know that Dubov is always yeah, having great ideas in the opening, so this could mean that either it's going all right, because usually those ideas are maybe not the first line of engine, but also could go very wrong because he somehow catches you and you make a wrong move and then it's getting bad very fast. And, but generally, I would say you can never really say. It really depends on how the game is starting and then already how you can play, how do you feel in this position, that's the most important. In general, are you happy that uh, offline tournaments are coming back? You are coming from this uh, online generation still. Uh, what do you think about uh, being back to the board during these uh, special times? Yeah, I also like playing online, but I think it's for every, every chess player, it's still like this is the chess where you really can yeah, think a lot. It's like with a higher quality, of course, yeah, online you play shorter time controls. It's fun, it's good that there, this tournament existed, also extremely strong tournaments against extremely strong players, but I'm certainly happy to be back at the board as well. Yeah. In one of his recent interviews, Magnus Carlsen mentioned that he would be interested in playing uh, the next World Championship match only if there was someone from the younger generation. You are from the younger generation. What are your chances to, to be the next? How do you evaluate uh, your position in it? I never even thought about it. I mean, this is more or less crazy to even think about. Yeah, I mean, now that I'm extremely happy to be even in the Grand Prix qualifying for the candidate is, I mean, okay, already extremely, extremely unlikely and then winning the candidate is already a whole different story. So I don't think that this is something I really need to worry about. Are you a full chess professional or you still uh, do studies and what are your plans for the nearest future, let's say, 10 years? Yeah, now I'm in the last months of my school, so then I will start being a chess professional at least for a few years and then okay, I will take a look and see whether it's necessary to maybe start to go into university, but generally I would like to be a chess professional. Yeah. Is there some kind of um, rituals that you do in order to perform better, some special nutrition or some some fixed hours of sleep that you do on tournaments particularly? No, not really. I think it's just important to sleep enough because usually such tournaments are extremely tiring. Yeah, I mean, you have long games, let's say five to six hours sometimes. And also, of course, you need to prepare a lot. So this means that you could go up to 10 hours chess a day. And if you do this for, okay, the tournament could take, uh, I guess, about two weeks. And then, of course, two weeks, 10 hours a day chess is, you really need to get some sleep and some, uh, yeah, cool, calming down and relaxing. Who is this? strongest chess player of all time to you personally? This is really something I can't say. I mean, I grew, grew up with Vichy Amman being the world champion and then Magnus taking over. So this 
uh, like the ones that I know, of course, shortly before work as Parv, who certainly also is one of the greatest. I mean, this is for sure. Of course, Fisher comes to mind from the, I mean, those are the, like the pairs from the last uh, years. Okay, <laughs> maybe not years, but centuries. And then, yeah, I don't know, probably from earlier stages, it's very hard to say, yeah, because chess evolved so much with the engines coming with everything changing. And this is hard to say who really was the best player. Fair enough. Well, thank you so much, Vincent. Let me wish you lots of luck and uh, hoping to see you soon after your victories. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.